हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फ्रॉम मेक लव वेयर सेल्फ लर्निंग टोरियल्स विल गाइस इन टुडे टोरियल वी विल सी फ्रॉम द वेरी स्क्रैच लाइक यू डोंट हैव एनी आर्किटेक्चुरल मॉडल इन योर हैंड एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू बेसिकली प्लान योर हाउस सो विल सी बेसिकली फ्रॉम दैट एंगल फ्रॉम दैट माइंड सेट बेसिकली लाइक हाउ यू कैन प्लान योर हाउस फ्रॉम द वेरी साइट basically right guys so like here you can see we have a conceptual model and uh, it doesn't have much detail it simply has the site with the boundary walls then there are exterior walls and then few of the interior not no partition walls are there right we only have load bearing walls here basically and then we have a curtain wall just for decoration okay this is the the area where light will go inside and then there is a slab and then there is a roof slab and then we have surrounding buildings here which we have like just extruded for reference okay so we'll today try to see the sunlight analysis for our model and uh, how the shadows basically of the surrounding buildings can impact your uh, designing house so how we've done basically is from the google earth or from the google map like we have taken a screenshot of a site like this is a site basically and this is the plot where we are building our house and we have basically calibrated it right so and then what we have done here basically is if i just show you the breakdown so let's hide every hide everything so this is a site the screenshot right which we have calibrated and then on this site what we did we drew our boundary wall right we did that and then uh, so this is something very for initial level like we don't you don't have any 2d drawing basically with you you're just trying to scratch or you can just trying to mark up the things on your own so that you can analyze how your building would be and then from that model like you can think of n number of iterations for your final model so this is we are at that very very initial stage and then we drew exterior walls like this right and then we have interior walls so these are also load bearing walls right guys partition walls were not drawn that will be something coming later stage then we have curtain walls we have the slabs right and then finally we have the surrounding buildings which are simply extrusions so how we have taken these surrounding buildings the idea like Uh, you can see rest of the part is greenery and we have taken the buildings only those ones only which can basically impact the shadows to your house so right side is basically east the below one is south so sun rises from the east goes to south and then sets in the west so that's how it is that's how the site also is you can see north side is totally upwards right if in case you want to see how this site looks in actual we can go to show street view so i can just show you quickly also so this is the side guys uh, this this one which you can see the grassy area and then this is a surrounding building this one is of one of the surrounding building right this is again green patch this is one building yeah which could impact then this building and these one are far off but there could be like when sun rises from the east there could be some of the sunlight which could get get miss right so if you move forward you can see this is a site where we will be seeing the actual house being built up right so this is how like you can get an idea where you want to build right and uh, and then finally we will move this building to this free online tool to do sunlight analysis so for this uh, i'll paste a link right url in the description of this video feel free to try this so now what we'll do is we will export from this model the objects that we will require in our sunlight analysis one is the building itself uh panel walls curtain walls we know we won't need it right they obstruct the, like there is some issues there and then we will take the surrounding buildings right so just hide the unwanted data okay 
let's side cut in walls so this is the geometry that basically we'll be exporting so that online service which I just showed you is basically supports OBJ wavefront model so you can select the objects here which you want to export or just surrounding buildings like this cool go to file click on export choose the option here wavefront OBJ arc module right and let's just replace this I had done it earlier also click on yes it will just take a while so this is done now go to this URL this website and the very first option this one this which says load OBJ model right so in the OBJ model basically you have this OBJ file and the material file also so you can choose both the files the material file is basically for the coloration click on open so the orientation initially like is not always right uh, here so for that you can click on this option which says swap y and z axis you can click on this option again and then finally you can see your model is very well sitting on the ground with proper access now what you can do is you can choose the location so here for location the map we are choosing is open street map standard you can choose as per desired and then here you can search the city Rajpura which we did earlier click on enter it's not coming it's Rajpura Punjab yep this one right so now it will show the solar path and timelines according to that particular region right guys how th that's how this basically works uh, then here you have a couple of options here you can choose latitude and longitude if in case you want to like play with it but you already set the location so don't change it much in the date and time you have the option of the month and the time so let's say in summers which are peak June and July we don't want the sunlight coming inside the house right so as in India you can say it's quite hot area uh, in terms of June and July like these are extreme summers so as the sun is also upwards so let's see does sunlight come inside our house so you can play with the time here you can see sun rising for the east during morning time let's say 635 from the east side sun is coming at this direction and these lights are still okay these are quite cooler lights uh, in summer times right so this is how you can see lights uh, sunlight is coming inside as we move forward so till 7 8 it's totally fine and then at 9 and 9 30 at 10 you can see the sun is totally vertical upwards and majority of sunlight is not entering your inside the house which is good so you won't be bothered by the sunlight during summer so you can see as we are proceeding even at 12 p.m. which is extreme you can see your house is totally protected which is a good sign so that's how basically you can play with the geometry of your house you can uh, decide where you want the building masses where you want the entrance like all that aspects basically in your site and now this is for the summers now let's somewhere see around let's say in the month of November December let's say where are the winters are there and we want the sunlight to be actually coming inside our house so that we can feel the warmthness right so 12 p.m. 31st December and you can, you can see the angle of the Sun is uh, downwards and you can see the sunlight is entering inside your house very well in the morning also you can see from the east side you have the very good sunlight even you have the ground floor at your top floor also which is a very good sign right and as you are going you can see that's how sunlight is basically hitting your uh, building or the house right if in case you want to make some changes you can do accordingly considering your neighboring houses neighboring buildings you can't change your neighbor houses <laughs> that's 
kind of constraint but yeah you can definitely play with your house so that you can have the best of the best basically sunlight coming into your house right you can also uh, draw the blocks basically for the neighboring plots uh, so that in future you don't have to suffer like let's say this is a plot which is empty but in the future this plot may have some house right so you can draw like two story building at least so that you can get the worst or worst case scenario that's how it is right so this is how like you can see guys you have the sunlight analysis for your house right in the next tutorial we will see uh, a little bit of structure analysis for your initial conceptual model right guys and then we will jump into uh, using your conceptual model to finally dig down from the foundations and then create your full BIM model of your house uh, with uh, quite detailing right but this is how in practice actually your model actually starts creating from the very simple markups and these kind of uh, uh, basic models that's how I also do and uh, see you in the next tutorial guys uh, I hope you like this video uh, in case do like the video share the video and subscribe to our channel if in case you see this is helpful please feel free to buy me a coffee uh, the link is there in the description that basically motivates a lot right guys so th that was it for today's uh, tutorial see you in the next video guys till then take care goodbye thank you so much